This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show, starring your favorite video games, and some brand new ones being introduced to the public for the first time anywhere. And now, here's your host for Starcade, Jeff Edwards. Oh, uh, thank you very much. We're going to have a good game today, watching our players warm up. I can see they're good players, and they're going to have today's big match, because today they know one of them is going to have the opportunity to win their very own video arcade game. So players, you ready? Go yeah. set, let's go play Starcade. Here we go. Come on, kids. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Nice studio audience. Nice to see you here at home. We have our two contestants ready to go. Let's meet them right now. Your name is? Kathy Mastasisa. Hey, Kathy. How are you today? Oh, fine. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, I go to Our Lady of the Visitation School, mm -hmm. and I'm president of my school, and I join all the activities, and I like to bowl, and I like to dance. Oh, good. And you like to play video games, I bet. Uh-huh. All right, fine. And your name? My name is Ken Law. I go to Cal State Hayward. I'm a senior majoring in finance. I work, I mean, I run track. I was the ninth fastest on the 400 meter relay team in Division Two this year. Now, if you're ninth fastest, how come I almost beat you through the hall? You had a head start. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Well, as you know, our contestants are matched up in their ability in playing today's games, and one of them is going to have the opportunity to win this fabulous video arcade game. It is Munchmobile today. <laughs> so, players, shake hands. Let's go play Starcade. And while you're getting ready over there, we'll talk to Kevin and ask him to describe the five games we'll be playing today. Kevin? Jeff, we've traveled to the outer reaches of the galaxy to come up with today's games for a really spacey show. Starting with Star Trek on a mission to explore new worlds. Next is Galaxian and the aliens are upon us. On to Journey, a chase through outer space. It's Stargate and the humans are depending on you. And but not least, Zor, a lonely flight to save a civilization. Jeff? Okay, we have a bunch of good games today. Those are today's five games. Of course, both of you had a chance to play them before today's show. One of them, as you know, is a mystery game. You pick it in the first three games, and you win a valuable prize automatically. And Kevin right now is going to whisper to our home audience, tell them what the mystery game is. Our mystery game today is Galaxy. All right, that's the mystery game. I have a question for you, Kathy Ken. First one to buzz in gets to answer the question. Answer correctly, you'll pick the first game we'll play today. Hands on buzzers, here we go. In Mousetrap, the mouse can hide in the center of the maze when he's being pursued by A, cats, B, hawks. <coughs> Kathy. A, cats? No, sorry, it's B, hawks. So, Ken, you get a chance to pick the first game, and that's uh, an advantage for sure. Which one do you want to play? Uh, I'll try Stargate today. Stargate. Stargate it is. Kevin, how do you play Stargate? It's you against the UFOs. Only you can save the humanoids. Save four at a time and take them through the Stargate for big points. Blast your way through or use the smart bombs to destroy all enemies in sight. Activate the Inviso antimatter cloaking device and disappear and destroy everything in your path. It's Stargate. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Ken, why'd you pick Stargate? Just... This is a nice game. I, I play it once in a while, but I think I'll do okay on it. Okay, just a little hint. You only have 50 seconds, so it's a little different than playing it in the arcade. If you can get in the Stargate and find out where the humans are, pick up four humans and get to the Stargate again, you'll get a warp and a lot of points. If you can do that in 50 seconds, you'll be in good shape, all right? Okay, thanks, Jeff. All right, well, wish you good luck, and I know that Kathy heard the same hint I gave Ken. Okay, Ken, you have 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> $4,250, not bad, not bad, you did all right, what do you think? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you run track and you're out of breath from pushing the button. <laughs> Go on back, Ken. Come on, Kathy. All right, my dear, 
now. He did pretty well on that. How do you feel about Stargate? Oh, okay. I'm not very good at it. Well, he, he didn't go for any humans. You might give that a try. We'll see how, how it happens. You have 50 seconds. You ready to go? Ready? Get set. Play. Fire it everything in sight. Someone who doesn't think that's their best game, 2,875. Congratulations to you, Kath. Hang on, we'll be right back to see who gets to choose the next game right here on Star King. Some of the Starcade staff stays at the beautiful Pacific Plaza Hotel, a small Grand Lux hotel in the European tradition, one block from Union Square in San Francisco. The Starcade audience travels by way of Trailways bus lines. No bus, plane, or train gets you there cheaper than Trailways. Go Big Red, go Trailways. The grand prize today on Starcade is the video arcade game Munchmobile on a run for home, munching along the way on fruit and fish, grabbing up fuel on the fly, Munchmobile, furnished by Centuri. And time now for more Starcade with Jeff Edwards. Okay, Kevin, thanks a lot. All right, Kathy, Ken, let's check where we are after that first game. Kathy, you have a score so far of 2,875. And Ken, you have 4,250, okay? Ken, you're in the lead, as you can see, but of course, there's still one more game to be played in this round, and the total points scored on both games is going to determine who gets to play the name the game board. I have another question for you. Ready? <coughs> Hands on buzzers. In the game Puyan, how do the wolves get down from the tree? A, yes, Ken. Climb? No, that's not one of the choices. Sorry. It's A, jump down, or B, float down holding balloons. The answer is B, and Kathy, uh, without doing anything at all, you get a chance to pick the next game. Galaxian. I didn't hear you, love. Galaxian. Galaxian. Ah, Galaxian, and that is the mystery game, because I heard the mystery sound. Good for you. You got yourself a prize, Kev. It's Mr. Disc, a compact, personal, portable phonograph no bigger than a man's shoe. Place 45s and LPs from its own self-contained batteries, Mr. Disc. Kathy and Ken, the game is Galaxian, and we'll ask our own space cadet to tell us about that. We are the Galaxians, with but a single ship. To stop the attacking aliens, we can zap them while they're in formation, or get them in flight for bigger points. And if we can zap the flagship and its escorts, that's best of all, for we are the Galaxians. Okay, Kevin, thanks. Now, Ken picked the last game. You picked this one, so I presume it's one of your better games, huh? Yeah. Okay, now, I can tell you're a little bit nervous, Kathy. You're the president of your class at school, so just pretend you're standing up on stage giving a speech to three or 4,000 people. Okay. You see that? Now you're relaxed already. Now, Galaxian, the only thing I can tell you is uh, the attacking ships score more than the ones in convoy. If you see them coming down, two reds and a yellow. If you hit the two reds first and then the yellow, you score 800 points, okay? Okay. All right, good luck to you. You have 50 seconds. You ready? Mm -hmm. Get set. Play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Got it, good. Those are coming. Here's two reds and a yellow. Well done, Red. Get the, lead. Get the yellow. Couldn't do it. They'll be back. 40 seconds. Red, get the yellow. Yeah, good for you. Oh, that's all right. You got another shot at it. 30 seconds to go. Tag. Oh, another one coming up. That ship out. 
760, Kathy, not bad at all. Congratulations to you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Head on back. Here comes Ken. And Ken, I'll give you the same advice that I gave to her. When you see uh, two reds and a yellow attacking, if you can hit the reds uh, first and then the yellow, you get some extra points, all right? Thank you. All right, good luck to you. 50 seconds. Get ready, get set, play. <laughs> is going to play for a very special prize as we total up all the scores in both games and see who gets to come over here and play the name the game board. Kathy, you have a total of 4,635. And Ken, you have 7,240. Come on over here. Boy, you're really playing the game. Move over just a little bit to the left there, if you will, please. Right there. Now turn around and face out towards the cameras. <laughs> all right. When they put you in your starting blocks to race, they put both of your feet down for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Behind you is the Name the Game board. We're going to show you four video games. If you name the games correctly, you're going to win a marvelous prize, okay? Turn around up in the upper left-hand corner. The first one, is that Guzzler or Pop Flamer? Guzzler. Right you are. Number two, Star Wars or Death Star? Star Wars. Yes. Number three, The Worm or Nibbler? The Worm. No, sorry, it's Nibbler. And number four, JJ or Blueprint? JJ? No, not JJ. Too bad it's Blueprint. Well, you only got two out of four, and there's no prize for that. But you are well in the lead, and we're going to be back here in just a second to see who has a chance to win their own video arcade game. We'll be right back. Here's the latest video game news from the Starcade Hotline. Designing a cabinet that a video arcade game will go into is almost as important as the game itself. Ideas are formed and models made to make sure that the cabinet reflects the personality of the characters of the game, the action, and the objectives, all combined to attract the player to the game in an arcade full of other games. Time now for more games on Starcade. Here's Jeff Edwards. All right, you are, Kevin. One more to go. This time, only 40 seconds to play it. After that, we're going to total up all the scores, the top score on all games, to get a chance to win that Munchmobile video arcade game. So I have another question for you. Kathy, you're going to want to get this one because you're going to want to pick the last game. Ken, of course, has an equal chance. Hands on buzzers. If you qualify for the race in pole position, how many cars do you race against? A, seven, or B, eight? Ken? Seven. Seven is right. Yes. <laughs> all right. Now you have the distinct advantage. There's a couple of games left up there. Three, as a matter of fact. Which one do you want to play? Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Trek it is. That's a wonderful game. High scoring game, too. And Kevin will tell us about it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Command the Starship Enterprise on a Star Trek adventure. Your mission is to seek out and destroy Nomad and his gang of Klingon ships, defend the star bases and the Enterprise from their continued assault. Keep your eye on the sector scanner to spot the approaching enemy, then zap them out of the galaxy using your targeting scanner. Dock with star bases for repairs and supplies, but be wary of any matter saucers. The dangers are many in the game of Star Trek. Okay, thanks, Kevin. Ken, you're going to have 40 seconds for this game. I'm going to give you a couple of hints, and uh, Kathy, you're going to want to listen to. Uh, I wouldn't bother to dock if I were you, because you don't have enough time to bother about that, and save your uh, photons to maybe the second or third sector, okay? All right. All right, 40 seconds to go. We wish you good luck. Get ready, 
Get set, play. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Starting off good. That's one sector. Thirty seconds to go. Entering sector one point two. Seconds. Sector 1.3. All right, good shot. 10 seconds. Entering Sector 1.4. All right, good score, Ken. Congratulations to you. Head on back. We'll see how Kathy does. Come on now, Kathy. Well, he left you a pretty good score to shoot out there, Kathy. This is, as you know, Star Trek. Uh, you can uh, pay attention to the same thing I told him if you want. Don't waste time docking. Use your photons. You might wait to about the second or third sector to do that, okay? Okay. All right, good luck to you. You have 40 seconds. Ready? Get set. Play. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Ah, oh, way to go. Entering sector one point two. Got it. Where's that other one? There it is. All right, good. Twenty seconds. Doing fine. Entering sector one point two. Don't forget your photons. And that looks like it, Kath. Come on back. We're going to total up all the scores now. We're going to find out who has a shot at the old Munchmobile. So as we come back, and I want to say I just really enjoyed playing with both of you. You've been fine contestants. All right, Kathy, you have a total score of 14,460. Nice play, Kathy. And Ken, you have 17,375. Congratulations, champ. Played really, really well. Kathy, you won, of course, the Mystery Game Prize, so you don't go home empty-handed. It'd be nice having you here in Starcade. You have a good time? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you did. All right, and for you, Ken, for being today's winner, we have a special prize for you, and Kevin will tell us about that. Kev? Ken, it's the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Monitor. For education, home finance, and entertainment, you're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Monitor from Texas Instruments. And Ken has also won the chance to play for his very own Munchmobile. We'll see how he does right after these words. Some of our contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive Trigger Elite, the high-performance joystick from Electra Concepts. With select sensitivity settings, rapid fire bar, five-year guarantee, and more, your video system's complete with Trigger Elite. And GameLine, the incredible new way to play an endless stream of video games with just one cartridge through your telephone. GameLine, the only way to try new games at home before you buy them, and games are only the beginning. And Zonix, video games with the exclusive Double Ender. Two amazing games on one cartridge. Multiple screens and unbelievable graphics. Zonix, new cartridges, Spikes Peak and Ghost Manor. Zonix, more fun for the price of one. And welcome back to Starcade. All right, Ken, you've done really well so far. Now you're going to have a chance to win your own video arcade game. There's still two games left unplayed. We have Journey and Zor. And during the commercial break, we told you that if you picked Journey, you'd have to score at least 1,763 points. If you picked Zor, you'd have to score at least 1,414 points. Okay, those are the average scores of more than 20 players who play these same games. You reached your decision, right? Yes. And what'd you pick? Uh, Journey. Journey. Journey it is. That means you've got to score 1,763 points or more in 30 seconds. You do that, and you're going to win our grand prize, and that is Munchmobile. All right. Kevin will tell us about Journey, and you and I will get, over, uh, get ready to go over and play. All right, you asked for it. Here, here you are in deep space, millions of miles from home. And there's UFOs everywhere. Track them down with your scanner, then home in and zap away. Everyone zapped means many, many points. It's a space journey. Okay, Ken, you want to win, uh, play Journey and win Munchmobile. Now, before you race a track, is there anything you do for good luck? 
Hail, I mean, um, sign of the cross. Ah, okay. Well, I'm, <laughs> I don't know whether God's into video games, but uh, we hope that uh, luck is on your side. Score 1,763 points or more in 30 seconds, and the grand prize is yours. You ready to go? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Journey it is. Get ready. Get set. Play. We're looking for 1,763 points. by 263 points. Doggone it, Ken. But you're a good player. You're a champion anyway in our game before that, and I hope you had a good time here at Star Cave. I really enjoyed myself. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what you do. Why don't you hold on to this mic and let me see what I can do on Journey, all right? Okay. All right. Say goodbye. <laughs> See you on the next Starcade. Until then, this is Jeff Edwards hoping all your troubles get zapped. Bye bye. <laughs> information about Starcade, visit www.starcade.tv and g4tv.com slash Starcade. Edwards wardrobe furnished by the tailored man of San Francisco. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. Starcade is a JM production. <laughs> <laughs>